Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Hey Dave video. And in this video, we're going to be having a look at a permanently banned farm in Haiti. Now, losing your farm in Haiti could be one of the worst nightmares that can happen to you in your life. Like, I've been playing Haiti for more than three years. It's a very long time. And I totally love my farm. But one day, if I woke up to the news that I've lost my farm for forever, I would be not the same person as I am right now. So yeah, it's really, really sad to lose your own farm forever. And um, I can understand some people just doing the property things. Um, and then they get banned and then they dash about it. So yeah, like you play the game, it's totally for free, it's your own game. But there are some terms and conditions that you have to follow in order to play this game. You cannot violate the terms of services of Supercell. Either you will get banned from them. So there are two types of ban, if you guys don't know. There's temporary ban and there's permanent ban. When you get temporarily banned, that's a warning to not to do the same thing again. But when you get permanently banned, there's no way that you can actually get unbanned again, which means that you've lost your farm far forever. So let's start the game. I'm going to be harvesting the chili peppers right here. And, oh, I got a nail. That's cool. I think I got a nail. And we are going to be planting. Let's uh, go with some soybeans. And I just got a shovel as well. That's cool. My dog is running around. And my rice is going to grow in two minutes. So... Let's see what we need for... Oh my god, I'm just gonna go to the fishing area. But yeah, let's just do something. I'm going to be collecting the red ores in here. Let's put my nets in there. So I always go with three dove traps and two lost traps. Because I only have five slots. I think. It takes a lot of diamonds. So I'm just going to be throwing these nets into the water. And my lobster trap will be ready in the 15 minutes. We're going to get back to my farm and see what we need for the next boat so that I can prepare for that. And I'm actually so poor right now. I literally spent a lot of coins on Maggie today. She was here, you guys can see. The only thing that I need now are vouchers, and I don't have vouchers. I wish that we could actually donate vouchers um, somehow in the game. Because there are a lot of my friends that has a lot of vouchers, and they're of no use. So I could take vouchers from them. Because I really, really need them for the Maggie. Uh, but yeah, like I spent a lot of coins on Maggie. And I think it's not a problem. I've been trying to complete the Maggie's books for a very long time now. So I need hot dogs and cherry juice. Let's see if I got some ready. Yep, I'm making some. And let's put two more. So I need to put some cherry juice. Mm, seems like I'm already making some. I'm going to be putting some olive oil in there. Let's run my face in. I can put more bread in there. Cool. Let's see what else I can do. Um, look, my animals are done, so I just need to put some food. I can put more. Yeah, I'm making that. So, I think I'm be putting more chicken feed. I'm running out of food, actually. So, let's just feed my chickens. There we go. Come on, y'all. Wake up and make it work. They're really cute, though. So we're going to be seeing if I can send any truck orders that are good to go. This is like a, yeah, I can do this one. Orange tea, that's cool. Let's do this. And I'm going to be collecting some tea. Let's put more tea in there. Okay, I think I'm done here. Oh my god, I need to run my sugar now. So we're going to be putting some of white sugar in there. Alright guys, it's time to go and visit that person's farm, which is permanently banned from Haiti. Now, I actually found this person back in December 2016. So this person has been blocked for a very long time, approximately four years. One of my friends told me at that time that, hey, I found a person who's actually banned. And I was like, what? Then I had to look at this person's farm and he was actually banned. So, but after some time, I tried to find this person again. Uh, but I couldn't find that. Maybe Haiti had removed them from the leaderboards. And now I have no idea why did Haiti add them back. So if you guys go down at number 58, you can see Sarah with the hard sign next to it. And they have a pretty high boat score as well, which is in millions. If you go to their farm, this person is actually permanently banned from Haiti. So you can see it's a pretty high level player. And... How do I know if this person is banned or not? You cannot add them in the game. And you can see this player is banned from Haiti. So there's no way that you can actually add them. 
And I just don't know why Haiti added this person back in the leaderboards because a few months ago I checked the leaderboards and I could not find this person. And I was like, maybe Haiti had removed them because they were permanently banned, but they're back now and I just have no idea. So we're going to be visiting their farm. We're going to be having a look at their farm. You guys can see that there are a lot of things that are not done. For example, this whole area of the land that is not open yet, this was added back in March 2017. You guys can see that this person has not opened them, which means he's been banned for, oh, for a very long time. But this is a pretty much high level player. I mean... I don't believe that this person is actually banned, like what could possibly be done? You can also see they spent a lot of real money in the game, you can see these decorations, and the Halloween decorations you guys can see there, the golden path that's crazy, and there's a lot of flame that's still to be opened. Um, can we follow them? No, I guess. Alright, so let's just go to their town and have a look in the town if there's thing that we need to notice. So you guys can see this person has not opened the sanctuary as well. Of course, he cannot because they are banned. So um, you can see the townies are actually being served. And that's crazy. Only three slots? Oh my god, I don't believe it. It's a, it's a really good one. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to... Oh my god, no. And the thing to notice here is that their feed mill is not fully mastered yet. Oh my god, how is that possible? How the feed mill is not fully mastered yet? And you guys can see there's some machines that are not even fully mastered. The tackle kitchen, this seems something wrong with this farm. Not the hot dog stand, not even the pasta kitchen. Now I tried to do a little bit of research on this farm. I'm not sure if this is a male person's farm or a female person's farm. But the name says Sarah, which is of course a female person's name. But if you guys have a look at the profile picture and the shop's name, that will say that it's a male person. Alright guys, so in this picture you can see that is the picture, profile picture of a male person, um, of a man picture. So I'm not sure why they're using a fake name to do, probably to do something inappropriate or to do something that is not meant to be. Or even if you have a look at their shop's name, you guys can see the shop name seems um, Hasaif's shop which probably is a male person's name so i literally have no idea what's going on here let's visit their fishing area and see what's going on there let me have a look at their fishing book so still not complete there are a lot of fish to be caught and all right that's cool so they're um this Net maker, door maker that's not even fully mastered, and you guys can see that he's not opened the land over here. And these four ducks have been there for like many years, and also these lobsters. Now, there could be a lot of ways that you can actually get banned from Haiti due to inappropriate behavior in the hood chat. If you do a lot of times, you will get permanently banned, or if you try to use the automated softwares, third party malware softwares, or you use bot farms in your a farm of Haiti, they will notice and they will put you on a permanent ban because the servers of Haiti are very important and they're always looking around to see that if there's something suspicious going on, they will notice you and they will put you on a permanent ban. Now, I'm not sure why this person got banned, but the thing to notice is here, it's a pretty high level farm. It's 275 and has a pretty much high boat score, which is amazing. Now, why would somebody try to do something inappropriate, try to do something which is not meant to be done, despite being such a high-level player? I mean, even if this was only a level 30 or level 40, I would say that's fine, um, because they might not be mature enough to understand how to play this game, or they might have, you know, used something inappropriate, some automated bots or softwares like that. You know, there are a lot of softwares on the internet, how to get free diamonds and a lot of things. That's actually a hack, that's a scam, there's nothing like that, free diamonds. You have to play the game or you have to purchase the diamond from here if you want to get some. But yeah, it's kind of sad, it's kind of shame that why would somebody being a very high level player do this kind of thing in the game. So the farm design is actually pretty good and it's been ages since this person has been not been on. Now we cannot add them, they are banned from Haiti. Now I can imagine how must have they felt when they came to know that they were actually permanently banned. For example, they opened their game and then they saw, oh my god, your account has been permanently banned due to the violations of our terms of services. And he was like, what? Oh my god, that's impossible. And he must have been crying. 
I mean, I can imagine the pain. I can literally imagine the pain of losing your farm and even such a high level farm because that would be crazy. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this farm. Have you seen this before? And what do you know about this farm? Tell me more. I want to know more. If you know the reason this person is banned, please tell me and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.